Relationships take work, dedication, and persistence. It's especially true for law enforcement and the communities they serve. Local law enforcement leaders want to build more trust, but they can't do it alone. WFMY News 2's Jalen Gilkey is here tonight. Jalen, you spoke to Greensboro's police chief and the Guilford County Sheriff. Both said that we've got room for improvement. Well, it starts with communication. Without it, tensions build. It's especially true between the black community and law enforcement. And after a year like 2020 where tensions boiled and in some cases spilled over, we have to talk about solutions and improvements. And in part two of my conversation with Greensboro Police Chief Brian James, Mr. Billy D. Williams from Accountable Youth Inc. and Guilford County Sheriff Danny Rogers, we discuss ways to mend local relationships. I think what we have to be careful of, especially in this last year, is that we hadn't lost any ground from what we've gained. And that's one thing that we've tried to focus on, focus on at the police department. Communication within the black community, uh, with the law enforcement, it's just gonna, it's gonna take that time where we have to get out of the vehicles, come from behind the desk, and walk in the, into the communities and meet with people and talk with people. There is a relationship there in which we have an open line of communication with the police department as well and into the black community, like they're willing to talk to us, but that doesn't take away from the fact that there is a violent element that needs to be addressed. I think we're just blessed enough right now to be in a situation where we have a police department that's willing to work with the community and do stuff like this to show transparency. I'm gonna share something with you. Police brutality, we will not tolerate that. In the sheriff's office, and I know Chief James doesn't, doesn't either. So our leadership speak for itself. Uh, police brutality, like the sheriff said, has, has been in the spotlight. I don't tolerate it, the sheriff doesn't tolerate it. But then you also have to look at the things that actually bring law enforcement officers to your community. However, it's going to take more than an hour long discussion. It's a collaborative effort from every officer and deputy on staff, as well as every one of you at home. This works and gets better if we all work together. To speak candidly, um, the way that we are raised in these communities that are heavily affected by the violence, we're raised to not trust the police, to speak honestly. We're raised uh, to not talk to the police, right? Um, so when you have that stipulation going on in the community, it's hard to build relationships. There are still some people that have a lack of trust in law enforcement, and we really have to make a concerted effort to meet with those communities that may not uh, feel that great about their relationship with law enforcement and we have to figure out how we can repair that. But at the same time, it takes more than just uh, the sheriff's office or, or uh, the uh, GPD or just one organization. It takes the whole entire community. Each and every one of us make up this community. These issues are real and personal to me on many different levels. We have to want to be better and then try to be better and then eventually become better if we want our communities to thrive once again.